Do you have a thousand dollars to invest right now? Looking for one of the lowest risk, long-term investments for that capital? Want safe, growing, passive dividend income to one day live off of? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. It helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. Today's investors are spoiled for choice. There are numerous asset classes that you can expose yourself to. And even within one asset class, there are a ton of different choices. Now, I'm a stock investor. More specifically, I invest in high quality dividend growth stocks. These stocks represent equity in world-class enterprises that pay reliable rising dividends to their shareholders. Those reliable rising dividends are funded by reliable rising profits. However, even within just the dividend growth investing space, there are stocks all over the risk spectrum. Different stocks for different purposes. And today, I want to share with you a low risk long-term investment that could be worthy of your capital. So if you have a thousand dollars to invest today and you want to limit your risk, this idea is very much worth considering. Ready? Let's dig in. A low risk, high quality dividend growth stock potentially worthy of a $1,000 investment right now is Johnson & Johnson stock ticker JNJ. Johnson & Johnson is one of my very favorite dividend growth stocks. This company has quality oozing from every angle and that's why its dividend is so reliable. The company has one of the longest and most impressive dividend growth track records in the world. Johnson & Johnson has increased its dividend for 59 consecutive years. Only the best of the best can do something like that. This dividend aristocrat can be the crown jewel of a dividend growth stock portfolio. And with the dividend only costing the company a bit over 50% of free cash flow, the dividend is very safe. Plus, the dividend growth is outpacing inflation. The 10-year dividend growth rate is 6.6%. Even after almost 60 years into its growth cycle, this dividend is really just getting started in terms of its long-term growth potential. After all, this company is a healthcare machine. They're a pharmaceutical business, a medical devices business, and a consumer products business all wrapped up into one company. And with healthcare being a non-discretionary expense with rising demand from a larger world growing older, Johnson & Johnson is positioned about as well as a company possibly could be. You know what that means. Growing revenue, profits, and dividends. Johnson & Johnson has been able to increase its dividends so consistently because it's consistently increasing its revenue and earnings. Annual revenue has expanded from $65 billion to more than $82 billion over the last decade. Earnings per share compounded at an annual rate of more than 5% over that period. Now, they're not gonna knock you dead with growth, but this is a low risk blue chip business growing at a mid single digit rate while you sleep soundly at night. This stock is also not a bad current income producer. It yields 2.5% here. No, that's not a sky high yield, but again, this is a low risk play. If you want a 10% yield, you have to assume a ton of risk. Besides, 2.5% smokes the broader market's yield and you're getting inflation beating growth on top of it. Want more evidence of quality? How about this? Johnson & Johnson has a triple A credit rating. They're one of only two companies in the world that can claim that, yet even with this blue chip stock being about as dark blue as it gets, the valuation is reasonable. The stock trades hands for a forward price earnings ratio below 18. That's based on the midpoint of guidance for this fiscal year's adjusted earnings per share. I do not view that as extreme at all, not in this market and not for this level of quality. To be fair, most of the stock's basic valuation metrics are at or slightly above their recent historical averages. That's not surprising, the entire market is elevated right now. But I view this as a situation where the stock is simply less of a bargain than it was before instead of a sign of outright expensiveness. Now, I'm not saying that Johnson & Johnson is a risk-free investment. No investment is without risk. 
Every single business has risk. It's up to an investor to weigh those risks against the long-term opportunities. What I am saying is that, in my view, Johnson & Johnson ranks very low on the risk scale. Risks here include competition, regulation, and litigation, but that's true of any business. The bottom line is that it's a reasonably valued blue chip dividend growth stock. This is a fantastic long-term wealth and passive income compounder. Investing $1,000 10 years ago into this stock would have compounded at an annual rate of more than 13% and turned that $1,000 investment into almost $3,500. That's more than tripling your money in a very low risk way. If you have $1,000 to invest right now and you want that capital to go to work for you over the long term, Johnson & Johnson is very much worth considering. And stay tuned for the next video where we'll be covering a higher risk investment idea for a $1,000 investment. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about this low risk long term investment idea. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including a link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the fire fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time.